Hello everyone, welcome back to part 5 of The Beast Inside. If you remember in the last episode, it turned into a first person shooter. So, yeah, if you recall, there was a brutal killing of the weird half mangled dude. But anyway, apparently we solved this code, so let's see if we can't pick it up. So we're not only planning to transport a missile right our nose, but they also know what the CIA is doing, which means they got a mole in the office. Nice. So we gotta go call our boss and tell them that our hundred year old journal page helped us solve the Russian code. Uh, telegrams, telegraphs. Fuck, they must have tapped my line. How in the world did they track me down so quickly in this shithole? Fuck me. Maybe they did get Harold after all. Thankfully, I can check where they're tracking me from. If I'm not wrong, the detector should be in the office. Okay. We want that. Pull it out, dude. There it is. We are looking for a quantum cloud. <clears throat> it's crazy that they got us tapped. Jesus, are you trying to kill me again? I don't want to sound hysterical, but I saw someone. Great. W what are you talking about? Someone's here in front of the house, <clears throat> but maybe it's someone from the office, you know, about work. David would tell me. Son of a bitch, it's all so clear now. You don't think that I do they want to get us so nothing would surprise me Those Russians a few days ago someone was hanging around here, too. I I caught a glimpse of him behind the trees And you didn't think it was worth mentioning. Hey, don't take it on her. Uh, it might as well have been my imagination I didn't want to spread panic. We've got enough to worry about as it is fuck Emma I don't work in a bakery. I work for fucking spies. It's not like we can just go to a mountain cabin and be safe Stay in the house, lock the doors and windows. All I'll of take them. care of this. Both of these main characters, the past guy and this future Let's guy, localizer and see if I can find something nearby. Take wild steps out of like what a normal person I think would do. Let she pointed over here. So Let's pull it out. There we go. We are looking for this way. No, pull it. Wait, X pulls it out. Okay, now now we're getting somewhere. Oh. It's back towards the house. Interesting. Pull it back out, dude. What was that? We're not worried about this? The binoculars and cigarettes? Am I blind? Yeah, right here. There we go. I hate this. These anomalies. There's one. Um, there it is. Boom. We got one. At least now I know how to read this thing, so it makes it a little better. And... There it is. I'm curious what these anomalies are. That fucking bastard is so confident that he approached the house to spy on us. Maybe if I can find more traces. Eh. Could be you. Hey, this is... This game is so weird. 
I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh wait, nope, we're going the right way. The signal is very clear. Quantum cloud should be right around here. Dude, you, what you say as very clear usually means I can't pick it out at all. When I wake up in the morning and the sun's outside. The lines are coming together. I'm close to the source now. Okay, so that, okay, thank you for finally explaining that. Now we want the lines together. Make sure, is that a treehouse? Where? There? Crossed here to the other side. I need to get over there. Okay. Okay. Three shakes to open a gate stuck in the dirt, you guys. <laughs> Again? I don't think this was necessary. It's not up there. It's this. I think it's in the treehouse. It's gotta be. This, this little... Uh, let's break these again. <clears throat> Come on, box. Like the. Come on. So the like I was saying, like this investigative bit is. I don't think we needed the stabilizer anomaly gun. Like, it's interesting enough without it. But that's just me. I'm just crazy. This, this is a hell of a treehouse. That's for animals. Oh my god, this... Did I just go all the way up here for no reason? Because I can't get on that. We figured it out. We're supposed to go with the wooden planks. Uh, I'm not sure how I missed that or if I just... I don't... I don't. I think I tried jumping on the rock and it wouldn't let me up the rock, so I don't know what the deal is there. Okay, where's... There. Fucker's got it all well organized. Fuck, I can't believe that I took that picture on the day we have our arrival. Okay. We are dealing with a spy. What? What if we just break something? You won't oh. lose me so easily, you bastard! Oh, Stop! What? Hear me? How do I get out of here? Oh. Yeah. What a bad spy. You can run, but you can't hide. That just exploded. There is no way that was that dude. He didn't even touch her. I'm not running very fast for me to be chasing the spy. And he's not running very fast either. You're not losing me so easily. Um, apparently he is. He's in the mine. Well, the music changed back, so... I guess he's not a threat anymore. How... Oh. Okay, what did that do? This. Oh, lovely. I don't like this. 
I don't like the fact that we are now in a mine shaft. A very bright mine shaft. I've been in caverns. Chasing a spy through caves. Fuck what would have been a joke a week ago mm. without reality. Wait a minute. It is not this light. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Come on. Come on, how do you get over there so fast? These bad guys in this game teleport all over the place. It's amazing. Good thing I can hold my breath forever, jeez. Especially screaming as you hit the water. Hey, we're gonna have to find air soon. My little bar is halfway empty. Don't you know when you go swimming and you hold your breath, you get a little bar that peers up in front of your eyes so you can see just how much air you got left? I thought so. I thought y'all would. We made it. Sorry. Oh, yay. Creepy old mining equipment. Let's go catch a bastard spy. Blow him up. Oh, that's not. I thought that was a plunger. One of the TNT plungers. That's all closed off. I wish they... Instead of just being creepy, give a little more to the story. But, I mean, I'm enjoying this so far. What about y'all? If y'all like this game, leave me a comment down below. Letting me know. I think once we finish this, I actually Doesn't seem too stable. Well, that's because we're. Just... No. It broke in the middle. Unrealistic. Oh huh? fuck! That was close. Everything wants to kill me in here. Yeah, everything wants to kill you in general. That means you need to leave. Take the hint. I don't get why he's not taking the hint, y'all. I would have left long ago. Then again, I'm a big weenie. I mean, I'm stupid brave, y'all. I thought he was about to be right there, and I thought I was going to have to have a little moment of panic. At least we're back outside. Birds chirping, sound of running water. I guess we're going back home because we didn't catch them. Oh, no, we need to turn. This looks like the path I took when I was the other guy heading towards the inn. Mm, boop. Screw your piece of metal. What kind of path is... What? Okay. Okay. What did that do? Okay. I... I... Bleh, 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 bleh. I noticed... That... It seems like the places I need to go are marked by a piece of wood or something. The machete! Still perfectly sharp. It looks ancient, but maybe the blade is still sharp. You just said it looks sharp. I guess we're going this way. I need way. to get to the other side, but how? With our machete? Now we're on an expedition. I could go through here. Yeah. Obviously. Another signal. Alright, we're gonna make sure these go together. This way. We're going the right way. This game is just like, alright guys, we're making a horror game. What do, what, what do we want? And some of these like jump scares. They're like, good, good, keep it coming. What more ideas you got? What else you got? Uh, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters would be good. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, we like that. We like that. Uh, Timmy, what about you? I like spies. Okay, a little, little, little out there, but yeah, we'll go with spies. Spies are cool. And so they just started making this horror game with elements from everything. And that's how we got the game we got now. We are looking for Floaty Wisp. This is from the guy that likes Space Invaders. Uh, he's like, oh yeah, I like shooting, shooting random stuff. There it is. Boop. I want to shoot stuff with a the scientific space gun laser grenade. Where is that at? There it is. Get out of here. You anomaly. You anomalous bastard. Ugh. The Texas weather is just all over the place. It is 80 degrees today. Wednesday is supposed to snow. So to give you all kind of an idea of what my poor body's having to deal with. You turn left. I'm close. I can feel it. Can you? Oh, another one. I don't. I don't necessarily like this. It is a very weird trope. I don't think was necessary for this game. This that game was very scary on its own. I just don't think it needed this. Where do you want me to go? Over here? Here? Yes. I slipped through here. I'm sucking my gut. <laughs> Buddy, if that was me trying to go through there, we wouldn't make it at all. Also, what do y'all think? I got my uh, light mounted in front of me instead of over here. To get more of that, like, you know, little sun kissed glow. What do y'all think? Okay, well, we are going through the crack. Nature's butthole. Doesn't seem too stable, but maybe I can get to the other side. Fuck, I'm not as fit as I used to be. What? Where did... Nope. We are gonna jump? Nope, apparently we're going down this way. Back into the mountain. This place would be crazy to be at as a kid. Like all the little caves. Oh, no, no. She as I was saying, this place would be crazy as a kid with all the little caves and stuff to crawl around and climb on. But then again, we'd run into issues like we just did and fall off and just not make it anymore. Just unalive ourselves. Let's try not to fall again. Please. Oh look, we made it to the other side. We are still going with this thing. Where? There. Looks like you hit something in the feeder. Well, let's stick our hands in there. <laughs> The inn. Thanks for the tip, dickhead. Hey, language. How do we get to the inn? Where's the inn at? Um. Are we going back down? Maybe? The inn is where we watched. Oh, good I thing I didn't jump back down. Come on. I want to know why all, every like, one of these boards breaks just like in the middle randomly. Oh! Oh, that was close. We almost died. Again. Which, I mean, for a game that introduced shooter elements that I wasn't prepared for, we did pretty well. Hillside Inn. Yes. This way, I am guessing. 
What does my wife think we're doing through all this? I mean, she's just chilling on the house like, oh, okay, he'll be back. He'll be back eventually. He's, you know, Ghostbuster. We've taken the boat? Man, this boat looks like it's 100 years old. Probably is. Bet you I'd die if I go in the water, so we shouldn't do that. My guy probably can't swim. Maybe we hack through these trees? Nope. Hmm. Well, we're making progress. <clears throat> I think. That leads back to the... What the heck? These paths suck. Maybe I'm just missing them? What do we have here? An old tent, some abandoned stuff? Looks like someone just left it all and never came back. But why? Because they got murdered. I don't know. The story of this game is just like right now, like with the information we have, it's very much all over the place. So, I think it all has to do with my dad doing the mines, some dudes died, they don't want recompense, we cut one of our friends out of like a big deal or something. I need to find another way. Why is that old rickety wooden gate the bane of my existence from getting in here? That mine shaft looks deep. If I had something that would enable me to climb down it, maybe it'd lead to the inn. I could try to go down this way, but first I need a stronger rope. Mine is definitely too flimsy. I saw a tent on my way here. Maybe I can find something inside. Really? You're making me go all the way back to the tent? I should check the nearby tent. Okay! We're going. It's not really nearby. Why didn't it let me... I guess I didn't think to look in it. I guess. That was my bad. There's a backpack hanging in that tree. I'll try to shake it down with something. There's also a dead person right there. Are we not talking about... There is a dude right there. What kind of property am I living on? Oh, I don't want to have the tent. Nothing. Nothing. There's no rope here. There's a fishing line. And there's that guy's body. There's a bucket over there. What the heck? could go through here. Okay, we have to cut down these trees. We found it. We're gonna go up here. How long has this poor guy been hanging here? A while. Strange that no one came looking for him. He must have fallen off that poor guy. The backpack is hanging loosely. I think I could knock it off with a stone. Okay. Cool. Now what? What about him? Nope. Can't hit him. We knocked it loose. <clears throat> we'll take his backpack. I saw a backpack on the rock by the tent. Thank it's you. It's worth checking. 
This will certainly come in handy. Okay, so they, i.e. the game, didn't explain that too well. It said go to the tent. Tent didn't have anything, but then you trigger the event with the backpack, and he notices the backpack, but doesn't look the extra two feet up. Like, if you're that far back, you would see the dude hanging there. As you saw the backpack. Whatever. We're going down the hole. Where's our magic backpack, backpack? Backpack, backpack. Alright. Not sure why the dude thought the mine shaft was the logical step to getting to the inn when it's a rickety ass old fence. Like, dude. Your leaps to where things go don't make a whole lot of sense to me. You're like, you are taking logic leaps out the wazoo. That's right, I said the wazoo. Alright, come on. On to the barrel. Quit bunny hopping. Alright. Throw. And pull. And pull. This looks like ruins of some big building. Yeah, the what inn. What happened here? Uh, we fought a fire-breathing judge. With... What the hell is he up to? Uh, picking the safe, apparently. Well, let's see if we can't get into the wreckage. I think these wet white signposts are leading me like... Like, these are my guide to where I need to be. This inn is huge. Was huge. Where did he go? Uh, he walked right here. But it's <gasps> not there anymore. Come on. <gasps> Come on. There we go. Before we go over there, though, let's check this safe. Who is he? Who did he hide here? I need to turn that safe around somehow if I want to reach it. I can't move it with my bare hands. Really? You can't? Just push it over. Charred ruins. The Soviets want all this country to look like that. I mean... That is a broad generalization. I have plenty of friends who are... Russian. Oh, there's a hidden message on it. To think something so small could cause so much damage. It gives me the creeps. Yeah, there's another, like, you think this one little... Damn, I'm not really scared of heights, but I better be careful. Uh. <laughs> Fuck you, birds. I'm not afraid of no ghosts. Oh. That was just a big circle. Did I miss something? We know the safe. We went up the stairs. Are we thinking the s supposedly spy dude is... What did I miss? Search the runes of the inn. And... <laughs> If this building actually burned down, and it's been, what, they said a hundred years, there's no way this would be standing. At the very, if it was standing, we wouldn't be able to walk on it. Alright. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, now we are over here again. Oh. Hey. Okay, we got pipe. Think of the oh lord! Oh fuck! If it fell on me, no one would ever find me no. here. No. 
and it may not what is this place take anyway? you out right away. What's in this damn safe? All right. open it. Maybe I can find something in this room. Okay, we are going to open the safe real quick before we end this episode. Because I'd hate to leave y'all on a cliffhanger for opening a safe. I know how everybody likes their safe opening videos, so we're going to get this sucker open. Oh my god, come on. The mechanic for this is not making a lot of sense. Yeah, it, it is very wonky, to say the least. Okay, we are in this part. We have a I journal. Noted the combination Remember, the answer here. is not present. Which numbers do I need, though? Turn? Remember, the answer is not present. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. How the hell am I supposed to make anything out of it? Oh, no. Anything else? Okay, well, we have. Oh my god, look at this door! No! We got this. What is the page of the Bible doing here? For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be made known, therefore, whatever. Whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and to which spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed on the rooftops. Oh, the old witch. The old witch had the locust fallen into superstition. I can only hope they don't burn her at the stake. Okay. Okay. I think. So this is for the second, obviously. This is for the Numbers first. Numbers notebook. Which ones stand out? Something stands out. Does it mean the ones that are slightly thicker? Okay, I'm going to have to look at this for a minute. And then in the next episode, I'll explain my reasoning and kind of go over what's going on for y'all. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap up episode 5 of The Beasts Inside. Thank you all for hanging out. If there's anything I missed or, like, you know, just kind of like your thoughts of the game, leave me a comment down below. Consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one.